film, guys. I see you all getting a little bit bored and getting to go. My name's Maz, I'm from an organisation called Below Zero. Uh, we go out on a Monday whenever we can and feed the homeless. Section 30 to section 38 of the uh, something something order. Uh, basically, this is our order, which is, by the way, the uh, the police are calling Operation Hoover. That's what they're calling to get rid of homelessness in Brighton, Operation Hoover. Now this order is what was created to get rid of people on a Saturday and Friday night that are pissed up and nuisance in town, fighting in town. And they use this order, you're given two days, and you pop them back into the city centre. Now that order is used all over the country on a Saturday outside the clubs. But what the police are doing, they're using the same sections to get rid of homeless people and rough sleepers in the city centre. I've seen it with my own eyes. The idea is you use the order when there's a problem. Now I'm not naive to say that there isn't a drink and drug problem within the homeless community. Of course there is. And sometimes there's a problem. But I believe that when there is a problem, somebody's drunk and they're fighting and whatever, then they should be dealt with there and then. But what the police are doing, and that's how I nearly got arrested, on the uh, outside the theatre on New Road, there are some guys seated there. And the, the order is there's a map that covers basically the whole of the city centre and the city centre Brighton. The police came over, and they started hassling these guys and wanted to know who we were. Now the guys weren't drinking. The guys weren't causing a nuisance. The guys were just sat there, quietly, enjoying the sun, minding their own business. Yes, they were rough sleepers, yes, they were homeless. But they weren't breaking any of the laws. The police came over with their police car, parked right beside them, glaring at them for 10 minutes and me and my friends and then came over and demanded to know what my name was, who I was, what organisation. I didn't tell them. I didn't want to tell them. And that's when it all went pear-shaped because I refused to tell them. And they said I was aid and abetting a breach in the section 30. I laughed. I turned the keys off my scooter and refused to move. And we stood there for 20 minutes glaring at each other while the inspector on the phone decided what to do with me. I was then told that I would be allowed to go, but if I came back I would be arrested. As I said, the police are using this order to get rid of the homelessness in Brighton. They don't want people sleeping rough because it looks bad. The holiday makers don't like it. The shopkeepers don't like it. But that's no way to get to solve the problem. It's very, very, very easy to become homeless. I myself became homeless. My marriage broke down. She didn't want to stay there. I didn't want to stay there. I left the marital home. I was homeless. The council said I left my home on purpose. We refused to do anything. So I was homeless for two years out on the street. Luckily, I got some friends, I know the right people, and I got people to speak for me. But it's so easy. If you've got mental health issues, if you need the services, the armed services, if you have a drug and alcohol, you know, it's the council tax. People are becoming more and more homeless people on the streets. And hassling them and moving them on isn't solving the problem. What we need is more council flats, more council houses, somewhere safe for people to go to, somewhere safe that they can spend the day talking to their mates and not being hassled. It's not like the government going around and saying, oh, we're building more houses, but they're building houses to buy, not to rent. <laughs> I can't afford to buy a house. Many people in this part of society, in the low income, 
can't afford to buy a house. We will never be able to afford to buy a house. And by tooth and grit, I have now got a council house. But I had to end up really trying to top myself to get that house. It shouldn't be like that. Now I was threatened with arrest. Also, recently the people at the clock tower handing out food were hassled and told that they couldn't hand out food there, go to the park. But it's funny, this is the same park that they moved all the homeless out of. <laughs> I think that's basically everything that I can say really. The homelessness don't need to be villainised. They need help. And we don't need the authorities, the police, the goons in uniform, going around, throwing their weight. Just because they can do. These are people. These are real human beings. People that have fought for this country. People that have had families. Children. Mums, dads, aunts, uncles. Things that have horrific happened to them. And I ask every police officer here today to go out in December and sleep in a doorway with nothing but a sleeping bag. And maybe, maybe that will change your attitude. Thank you.